हेलो फ्रेंड्स अगेन सो ये दिस इज द अनदर सेशन ऑन दी एम एस विजियो ट्यूटोरियल एंड लास्ट वीडियो वॉज ऑन दी बेसिक वर्क फ्लो डायग्राम एंड दिस विल बी ऑन दी यूज किस डायग्राम ओके सो आई थिंक आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट यूर सैम्पल आई मीन फ्री ट्रायल अकाउंट ओके विद योर नॉर्मल एनी पर्सनल ई मेल एंड देन यू हैव टू क्रिएट योर माइक्रोसॉफ्ट अकाउंट ओके टू टेक लॉग इन so once you take that uh, you need to navigate to the visio section and then you need to there is a search template okay so you need to just search the use case diagram okay you see by putting the use case only lot of uh, options coming so this is the uml use case and then you need to hit the create okay so while it is loading um, so uh, you already know right i mean i have already cre created uh, another video in past uh, what is that use case diagram why we create when we create what is kind of use of that i think you already got that if you have not watched that video please go through to understand okay first you until unless you don't understand why we need to create the use case diagram where it helps uh, definitely no purpose of creating such diagrams right now the essential part of that uh, uh, let me tell you the, the 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 shapes we have on the use case is the actor actor represents the users the use case use case represents the functionality of your system okay system boundary represents your whole system associations this is the normal association okay this is the dependency dependency means suppose you cannot access system home page without you taking login there is a no way to go to that home page without login so that means whenever you are presenting the home page you can you can say dependency is that to create a uh, i mean you, you should be having a, a login or to take a login what is the dependency what is the mandatory thing you have to set up your account right so you where these places we use these things generalization generalization represents suppose some 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 two places actually one place when you are in, inheriting some of the properties of your uh, use case okay it it can be possible actor level and and the use case level actor level and use case level actor level whenever you are generalizing the actor Uh, functions uh, in you are inheriting the uh, uh, the permissions or the, uh, the the features of any actor take I, i will show you how to do that and use case level when you are trying to show you different options to execute that use case okay <coughs> i will show that include represents the mandatory thing and extend represents the optional optional things okay so let me start a normal uh, i will go with the login and then we'll see we can extend that so i will first of all put a system boundary okay and i will give the system name is what uh, retail okay what where is it gone sorry okay retail system okay this is the web version sorry guys i'm also using the first time <laughs> we generally get in any organization when you work uh, you will be getting the uh, you know desktop versions i mean office 365 or something so it will open as a desktop that is more convenient to use basically this is the web version so you have defined your system boundary what what next you need to pull out your actor so for our retail system what we are telling to do a user a take example a customer so actor is a customer okay what he wants to do he wants to set up his account create account okay how he can do that what the information we need to do see you can put all minute all low level use case diagram okay when when a your functionality is going for implementation by the engineering team by the developers they may require full uh, full full requirements basically all low level designs all low level information what do you mean by low level information it means every field level information you can provide so for setting up a new account what we need you need name okay 
right? These, I mean, this so this child use cases, you know. So one primary use cases that you will put put into the center, the big one, and these these child use cases can represent the field information where you will put these extend these relationships, right? So you want to capture the name. I will put this as a different color so that you can easily differentiate, right? Let me put some harder color, otherwise it will be lost. Yeah. Uh, okay. Name, email, right? Email, what else? Address, correct? Phone. Correct. And the payment details. Okay. How how you want to associate? So the first use of this association, you can just drag drag this uh, your actor and use case. Okay. So between your actor and use case, we use this normal association. Okay, there is no arrow and all that you can see. Okay, and you know, creating the account, you definitely need the name. So, sorry, I will take include from here because the way we are, the system we are designing, we know to create the account, to create a customer account. Customer has to provide, fill his name, is mandatory field. It means you need to put a include. Same thing I will say for email. Same thing I will say for address. Same thing I will say for phone. But take example, it payment details is not a mandatory, mandatory while creating the account. Okay, so what you can do here, you can put a extend relation and the extent represents the optional field, optional value you are providing uh, while creating that uh, account, while, while performing that functionality in the system. It means this is the extent, this is the optional field. So that's all, right? So what you are telling to the, to the developers, when you will be designing or developing this create account setup, you on, on the screen, you should be having a name, email, address, phone as a mandatory fields and payment details is the optional. Clear, right? Now, suppose he already create account. Now, he will take a login now. Now, to take a login, this is the dependency. It means without having an account a user cannot user cannot take login clear or not so i'm just representing this thought to take a login by this user again i will put the same association normal association the user i mean the customer he, he should be creating the account and he should be taking a login. I mean, if, if the representative is saying the user, the customer is creating the account and then he's taking the login. And this, this arrow represents a login cannot be performed without creating the account. I, I think I'm clear loud. Okay. Now, what else he can do? He can... He can uh, shop for shop for it, uh, items. I will just put like that. Okay. So again, the same uh, same customer, right? Okay. And then he can make the payment, right? So you just need to extend the boundary line. Nothing should go ab uh, other than the boundary line. All your use cases should be sitting inside your system boundary that's the main thing okay guys 
So now, I will make the payment. So customer is making the payment, okay. Okay. So this is the, and then generalization, right? So take example, uh, I will take this one because these are the sub use cases I want to create. Okay. Payment through uh, credit card, payment through coupon. Okay. So these, you, what association you want to put? You need to put the generalization. I mean, payment I want, user can do either either this or this. When when something you need to represent as an option in the use case diagram, you have to use the generalization. Okay. I think you, you are clear. Take example, there are secondary actors. Okay. Secondary actors are the actors which is integrated system something right so take example here second secondary actor will be the payment gateway so these should be associated again normally with your payment gateways suppose you want to uh, represent any third party any other third party solution that you want to integrate with your system you can represent like that okay so this is your and then you can change uh, i mean for the some 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 good uh, representation you can just put some some different differentiation okay please make sure you these all boxes should be aligned perfectly so you should not be distracted it should be clean clear right it will be good yeah one last part i will i will open another uh, use case i will just quickly show uh, where we can use the uh, this uh, uh, generalization in the in the actors okay take example there is a user there is a new user and there is a existing user if you need to show you have to show the things like that right so you need to you can represent in this create account and then and then login okay take example you have you have been asked to show your use case diagram in this way so what generally it is happening you can see the new user is creating the account clear new user is creating the account but existing user and then this new user is accessing the login clear right clear right and this is the dependency you can always show okay but if he, existing user is coming how he can do that he can directly go to the login right existing user means he is having the account so he should not be again going and creating the account so the new user this is the generalization this is the generalization okay what it is saying so instead of putting an arrow from existing user to create account since you have already having another use case another uh, actor where you are connecting that actor to the create account use case it means and when you put the generalization between existing user to the new user, it means the existing user will having all the capabilities which is doing by the new user. And in addition, he is having this capability. Got it right? So existing user can purchase, purchase items. So you need to put that association from here, not from here. This is kind of representation we need to use when we want to show, differentiate different kind of actors where one actor, one kind of set of group of user is having a different set of permissions and another is having a different set of permission. Okay. So these are the basic essential things that we use in a use case diagram. 
and this is the MS Visio, of course. Okay, and then I hope uh, yeah, uh, this is a uh, kind of informative video for you all. Please subscribe my channel and share with your friends. And uh, yeah, have a nice day, guys. Thank you.